Lord is risen. He's alive. He'll save you from your sin if you turn. Turn from your sin. Jesus Christ. Give Jesus the glory. Today and forever, he's got it. You don't have to deal with it. He's got it. He wants you to turn, repent, put your faith in him. He'll save you. He commands all of us to go and sin no more. You can't be a sinner and get to heaven. Only Jesus will get you to heaven. You can't be a drunkard and get to heaven. Drunkards are going to go to hell. Thieves are going to go to hell. That's what God says. You can turn. Turn from your sin today. Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. No other way to the Father but through Him. Jesus Christ, He came. He died on the cross for our sins. He rose from the dead. Put your faith in Jesus Christ today. Careful, sir. You don't know when your last day is going to be. If you don't walk across there without waiting, you don't know, sir. Just make sure you put your faith in Jesus and you have confessed all your sin to him. He'll save you, sir. He'll change your heart. It will give you a clean heart. Be careful, sir. Jesus said he was the way, he's the truth, and he's the life, and he's not a liar. He is the Son of God. He saved me from my sins. He can save you from your sin. You must confess your sin. Jesus said to give unto Caesar what is Caesar's, but give unto God what is God's. And your soul is God's, but God will cast your soul into the lake of fire if you have not repented of your sins and put your faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only way to salvation. This message is a loving message. He leads me. He leads me. I, I follow him willfully. I mean, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall. I hear you, sir. I, I do love you, sir. I don't know your heart. Only God does. God's going to judge it. And he's judged it already. If you're, if you're in your sin, he's judged you already. If you're in your sin, you got to confess. Put your faith in Jesus alone. Jesus Christ, he is Lord. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Give him the honor. If you humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, he will lift you up. Jesus Christ is our example. Put your faith in Jesus today. He'll save you now. You don't have to wait. Repent of your sins. Put your faith in Jesus. He's the God of the living. He's not the God of the dead. The dead bury the dead. Jesus rose from the dead. He defeated death. He defeated sin. He defeated hell because of his great love for which he loved all of us. But you must repent. Realize you've sinned. You've broken God's commandments. Look at the commandments. It's, God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. There's not a greater message in the world ever been as loving as this message of of God's love. Please consider what I'm telling you. I'm not shoving it down your throat. We have the First Amendment right of freedom of speech. And God is allowing that right now. But there's going to come a time where he's going to close his ear. And when you cry out then, you will not, he will not hear you. So hear this voice now. Don't get sidetracked with religion, with church. Don't get sidetracked. Keep your eye on Jesus Christ. Please, I care about you people. I came out here, I prayed for you people.
Jesus Christ. If you don't know Jesus Christ, think about him right now. He's alive. He rose from the dead. And he did it for because of our sin. Your sin, my sin. Just consider today if there's anything in your life that's unclean. Right? But you got to believe in Jesus Christ. He's the Son of God. If you don't believe in the Son of God, you don't know God. Right? I would just say, man, don't be a friend of the world. A friend of the world is an enemy of God. And I mean, I care about you guys, man. I do. I wouldn't be out here doing this for what? I got a wife and children at home. I'm doing this because I want to obey my God. He's the God of, he's the God of all of us. But what separates us from God is sin. And if you don't understand what sin is, love you guys. Jesus Christ, he's the way, he's the truth, he's the life. He said to repent or perish. Put your faith in him today, turn from your sin. Walk in holiness. Without holiness, no man will see the Lord. Jesus said he is the way, the truth, and the life. There's no other way to the Father but through him. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. I'm no longer dead. I'm alive right now. And you can be alive right now. God who created time. He created this time that we keep track of. But now is the day of salvation, the Bible says. And if you turn from your sin, he's faithful. He's just. He's holy. He makes you holy. He makes you alive. If you can hear what I'm saying, consider it. I'm not pushing anything down your throat. I want to push it down your eardrum so that God can drum a beat on your ear so that it will reach your heart. You can't get to the heart through the mouth. You got to get to the real heart through the ear. That's why I'm lifting up my voice. Please consider it. God is at the door. He's wanting you to open the door. Open the door of your heart. Don't give it to the world, because if, if you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. God will shut the door one day. He'll allow your heart to get hard. And I'm pleading with you. The Bible says, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and He will lift you up. The Bible says if you confess your sin, he's faithful, he's just to forgive you of your sin and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Through the man Christ Jesus. He, he, he loves you, man. He does. He dies. He loves you. Be careful. Jesus Christ, he is Lord. He rules and reigns forever. All things were made by him and through him. There was nothing made that was made without him. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Give him glory and praise right now. Every knee's gonna bow, every tongue is gonna confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I suggest you confess him today. Repent, turn from your sin, go and sin no more. I was a slave to sin, now I'm a slave to righteousness. The Bible calls us to do so. Walk in the spirit, not in the flesh. Walk after the flesh. You're going to be destroyed. Destruction comes in hell. Praise the Lord. 